Hi everybody, my name is Dave Marsh. I'd like to welcome you to this Matrix Settings tutorial. And today we're gonna to take a look at how to configure your information in Matrix. Now before I begin, I'd first like to mention that because each MLS has slightly different requirements, the system that we'll be using during this tutorial may differ slightly from the one that you're currently working with. Nevertheless, the functionality is the same and for the most part, whatever you see during this tutorial, you'll easily recognize in your own system. All right, so today we're gonna to take a look at how to configure your user settings in Matrix. Now the settings section is your area in Matrix. Think of it as a repository, not only for the things that you've created for yourself, but also a collection of whatever you've created for your contacts. And we're gonna start by first configuring your information. And this is the information that you'll be publicly displaying to all of your current clients and any new prospects. So it's very important that whatever you add here is accurate. Now typically, whatever information that's here by default has already been pulled from your MLS roster. So if the field's editable, then you'll just want to ensure that the default information is correct, as well as update any additional fields that may be empty. All right, so beside the information tab is the header and footer banner collection. And here's where you choose how you'd like to brand any publicly viewed items such as printed reports and displays CMAs, and if you have them, your client's non-one home portal and matrix generated web page. Now by default, if you choose not to select a banner, no branding will appear in the heading. However, if you would like to add some personal branding, matrix gives you the option of either uploading a custom header of your own, or like in this example, selecting an image to use from one of the predefined default packages. I'd also like to include my agent photo, plus select some additional contact information as well. Now at this point, if you're happy with the header, great. But if you'd like to change any of the associated colors, simply select the custom colors option, then update whatever color you'd like to modify. In addition to this, Matrix also gives you the option of applying a footer to your printed documents as well. To enable this, simply choose to use a footer, then just like the header, select which information you'd like to appear. All right, so moving on to this next section, here's where you're able to set the default contact information that you'd like to appear on the cover sheet of each of the CMAs that you create. In fact, whether you choose to include your personal information or not, you'll always have the opportunity to override it during the cover sheet step of the CMA wizard process. All right, so whenever you choose to send any content to a client, you'll also have the option of including a default email signature along with your message. Now, this is an HTML-based signature, which essentially means that you can add HTML elements such as links, images, tables, and formatted text. For this example, I'm going to recreate my current signature just to show how easy it is to add one of your own. To begin, I'm first going to select the image button and then select one of the existing photos that I've already added elsewhere, such as in the CMA cover sheet section. In addition to this, you can also add a URL that points directly to the actual image that's stored elsewhere on the web. Next, I'm simply gonna add whatever text that I'd like to include in my signature. In this case, my name, my title, a contact number, and finally, my email address. Now at this point, because my email is currently just text, we're going to want to make this a clickable link for our recipient. And to do that, simply highlight the text, then select the link button. Now if this had been a link to my company website, I'd simply leave it at URL and then fill in the website address. But because this is an email link, we're going to change the link type to email and then add my email address an optional subject line, and finally, some default body text. All right, so after you click on OK, use the available formatting tools to adjust exactly how you'd like your text to appear. In this case, I'm gonna use the bold option so that my name stands out just a little bit more. All right, so for this next section, this website features primarily geared toward the agent who may not currently have an internet presence of their own, but might like to have a personal page to share some information on. Either way, creating your own web page is nearly as simple as setting up an email signature. So we're going to begin by first ensuring that our page is enabled, 
and then that we're happy with the default URL. Now this is the address where visitors will find you on the web. So feel free to update it to whatever name that you'd like to use. All right, next we're gonna add a web page title. And this is the text that we'd like to appear in the visitor's browsers tab. So in the home page content section, you begin by first adding a title that will describe the actual content. And then in the rich text editor, you'll add the content itself, just like we did with the email signature. All right, so below the content window are additional sections that you may want to include in your web page, including a section to allow or restrict where visitors are able to search using the map. Next is a sign up option that allows your visitors to contact you if they'd like more information while visiting your web page. I'll add to this that any request you receive from here will be displayed for you in the contact request widget found on the matrix dashboard. Now, if you've already purchased a domain name that you prefer to use instead of the default web page URL, then you'll need to enter that address here. And this is essentially what tells matrix to expect this domain name and display it in the address bar. In addition to this, you'll also need to contact your registrar and have them forward that domain name to the web page URL. This is so your register server knows exactly what site to send your visitors to. And with that, click save and then preview to review exactly what you've done. All right, so under the One Home tab, you'll recognize a collection of fields that contain whatever details you've chosen to include in the information section. And from here, simply update any of the contact information that you'd like to see appear in the agent section of your contacts One Home portal. Now, if you'd like, you can also include a personal video hosted on YouTube or on Vimeo. To do this, simply copy the video's URL and then paste it into the text box. All right, well, this concludes this matrix settings tutorial. I'd like to thank you for watching and hope that you can join me for another session. Take care.